It was probably inevitable that Keith Oldman and MSNBC would wind up in a bitter divorce. Here in Washington, David Schuster, former anchor and reporter for MSNBC. There are no journalistic standards on many of these shows. In our fourth story tonight, it's going to be teabagging day for the right wing, and they are going nuts for it. Thousands of them whipped out the festivities early this past weekend, and while the parties are officially toothless, the teabaggers are full-throated about their goals. They want to give President Obama strong tongue lashing and lick government spending. They don't even attempt to subscribe oh, to the journalistic what about principles Brad Brad that were Smith. attempted You're to throw the MSNBC schedule. But limp or not, since more of these things are supposedly unfolding on or near tax day April the 15th. A prominent Republican has tried to jump on the teabagging bandwagon, reportedly offering to join in and participate, but he has been rebuffed. They don't even attempt to subscribe oh, to the journalistic principles Brad, that Shepard were Smith. attempted you're, you're to throw out the MSNBC schedule. And the nation's teabagging, of course, impossible without this man, a dick army at the head of it. The former House Majority Leader... There are no journalistic standards. A dick army at the head of it. The former House Majority Leader... Unless he got them confused with dick army. And in Cavuto's defense, if you are planning simultaneous teabagging all around the country, you're going to need a dick army. Talking heads like former House Speaker Newt Gingrich have pushed their own vision of teabagging down the throats of the original teabaggers. There are no journalistic standards. That's teabagging in a nutshell. Did he want more money from MSNBC? Keith has never been about money. It was a very different type of show, though, than what Hannity or Wiley have been doing. I there are no journalistic standards on many of these shows on Fox News. Both are looking forward to an up-close and personal taste of teabagging themselves at events this Wednesday. And now to the so-called teabagging parties you may have heard about. They have have been fluffed repeatedly. But back to the subject of me. There's my old backup host, Rick Sanchez of CNN. Well, not anymore. Bye, Rick. Fired at 6 p.m. It's good to see you, Howard. Hi, Keith. So, of the three of us, <laughs> who was right? Uh, I think we were all wrong. Mm. Uh, you probably, because we're still here. And, and it's only October. It's only October. I don't get it. Anchorman without pants? It happens every day. The White House is on the phone for you. Seriously?